hope you are doing well and good so today we are going to learn about conductor conductors and insulators it's a very good topic and it's a, and it's very interesting topic we learn in grade 6 grade 7 grade 8 and maybe in your igs maybe or your board so let's get started with it now when it comes to the flow of electric current all materials fall into three categories insulators conductors and resistors so let's see what each one is now insulator any material that does not allow electric current to pass through it like protective coating on wires so insulator is a material that does not allow electric current to if the current can't pass through it so you must have seen on wires there's a plastic or rubber covering so that we cannot get the like when we're fixing them so we don't get the current otherwise this stop the current from going out let it be so there are many many insulators such as plastic rubber glass cloth and wood so you must have seen like electricians wearing wearing rubber gloves so that they they don't get current while in they are doing some electric work now insulators like plastic and rubber are used as a covering for uh, electric wires so plastic and rubber are used as a covering this makes electric wires safer to handle because insulator protects you from the current so now now it is much much more safer to handle it because now you not get the current now conductor any material that that allows electric current to pass through it now conductor is a material which allows electric the, the current can pass through it so copper the copper is a conductor aluminum is a conductor steel is a conductor any metal all the metals are a uh, conductors so uh, outer the outer side of the wire has plastic or rubber that is insulator inside it there is a copper wire you must have seen it, it, it that is conductor that allows the electricity to pass conductive material metal is used for wires that is that will carry electricity now conductive material like uh, conductive metals is uh, they are used for wires that will carry electricity so that the electricity can easily pass through them so out of the wire there is an insulator inside the wire there is a conductor now resistor a material or a device that allows some current to pass but converts some of the current to another form of energy it allows some current not all the current to pass some current to pass but converts some of the uh, current to another form of energy then it also converts some of the for current to another form of energy now you can see these appliances these appliances have resistors that convert electrical energy into light energy so from electric they turn into light and see they like we can like light bulb torch everything these appliances have resistors that turn electric into motion energy like it it can move motion so like electric energy into motion energy these appliances have resistors that change electrical energy into heat energy so like ovens and toasters hair dryers so in that electrical energy is converted into heat energy these appliances have resistors that can convert electric into sound energy headphones mic all have sound energy so it's connected from electrical energy to sound energy useful current useful electrical current can only move through a path or of conductive material the path is called a circuit a path for electric current simple circuit with light so a circuit is a path for electric current so if it uh, if a circuit so in a circuit we find wires uh, a bulb or a motor maybe and a cell just a simple circuit that is uh, it get more complicated as as we make it so a simple now this picture shows simple circuit with light so when you connect it the light bulb will get on the path for electric circuit an electric circuit might be open or closed there, there are two types of circuits open or closed now in a closed circuit an unbroken path for electric current uh, electric current no gaps currents can flow now when it comes to closed closed circuit there is no gap in the wires in the bulb and in the light so all of them are connected using the wires so the light will light will be on because there is no gap that is called closed circuit now an open circuit a path for electric current that has a gap no current can flow now there is a gap here so if the current can continuously flow that's why the light is off most electrical devices have a switch in the circuit to make it easy to close turn off turn on and open turn off so it's literally opposite the circuit so the, you must have seen in your home for lights for fans the all the button that is for opening the circuit and closing the circuit 
okay switch a, a switch is a tool to open and close the circuit so when you uh, like when you use the switch switch can open the circuit or close the circuit so when you open when you close it the light bulb will get on when you open it the light will be off a circuit can also be open and closed by touching two wires together so we if you have two wires and we can see the copper part so if you want to if you want to remove them we can just like the uh, move away from each other both of the wires we'll remove them from each other and we want to oh, work like closed circuit so we can just like uh, get them together touching them touching the two wires together a second then we also a circuit can also be closed by touching those two wires to a conductor so we touch those two wires to a conductor then and then also circuit will work now guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any out of my new videos thank you so much for watching